I'm Spike, the purebred mutt. I play uh, Spike, the dog. Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for actors you would have never expected to voice Transformers, Nicktoons, and everyone in between. Our vigilante, or Batman, as the news shows are calling him, has committed 70 assaults in the past five weeks. Now, during this time, certain patterns have emerged. Number 10. Emily Blunt as Tempest Shadow, My Little Pony, the movie. Emily Blunt isn't exactly a stranger when it comes to fantasy worlds. She starred as the beloved Mary Poppins, ventured into the woods, and even braved Jungle Cruise. One of her most surprising roles wasn't even a human. It was as a little pony. It's time that you understand. Don't ever count on anybody else in this or any other land. Blunt voiced Tempest Shadow, the second in command to the evil Storm King. Unlike the other little ponies, Tempest Shadow has not had a great experience with the power of friendship, and she's hoping that the Storm King will repair her broken horn. With this broken horn, you know, and there was something quite impactive about that image of her, and so it was really important for me to see the person or the pony <laughs> that I was playing. Blunt's performance was so good that she actually helped inspire what Tempest looks like. And in case you were wondering, Blunt does sing. You see it all so clearly. The best way to survive is all alone. Number 9. Joaquin Phoenix as Kenai, Brother Bear. Nana, you won't believe this. I was at the top of this huge rock, and all of a sudden, this. <laughs> Kenai, honey. Joaquin Phoenix has played some of the darkest characters in modern film. While he's more known for his portrayal of the Joker, Phoenix has also voiced a Disney character. And the character isn't even evil. He's a human who's turned into a bear. Phoenix voiced Kenai in the film Brother Bear. He's a very real character. Um, he's flawed and at times almost unlikable. But I think that that's something that we can all identify with because nobody's perfect. Kenai kills a bear in revenge for the death of his brother, displeasing the spirits, who turn him into a bear so that he can experience seeing through another's eyes. He's even joined by a cub bear Coda, and the two become, you guessed it, brother bears. Do you really think I have a fat head? Well, if you hunched your shoulders a little, it wouldn't seem so big. Oh, you mean like this? <laughs> or like this? <laughs> How about this? <laughs> Number 8. Hugh Jackman as E. Aster Bunnymund, Rise of the Guardians. Been a long time. Blizzard of 68, I believe. Easter Sunday, wasn't it? Bunny! You're not still mad about that, are you? Yes. When you think of Hugh Jackman, the words Easter Bunny are not usually the ones that come to mind. But in the 2012 film Rise of the Guardians, Jackman voiced E. Aster Bunnymund, aka the Easter Bunny. What did you call me? I'm not a kangaroo, mate. Oh, and this whole time I thought you were. If you're not a kangaroo, what are you? I'm a bunny. The Easter Bunny. The film follows a group of mythical creatures, including Santa Claus and the Tooth Fairy, who band together to stop the sinister Pitch Black from engulfing the world in darkness. Like Jackman, Bunny is a true Aussie, so Jackman got to speak in his true accent. Oh no. <laughs> That's the Easter Bunny? Now somebody sees me. I mean, where were you about an hour ago, mate? He even carries around a boomerang rather than an Easter basket. Number 7. John Favreau as Pre Vizsla, Star Wars The Clone Wars. This lightsaber was stolen from your Jedi Temple by my ancestors during the fall of the Old Republic. Since then, many Jedi have died upon its blade. Before he started writing, directing, and producing the adventures of a certain Mandalorian in a galaxy far, far away, John Favreau was already in the Star Wars universe. Fittingly enough, he voiced a Mandalorian, the ruthless villain Pre Vizsla on Dave Filoni's series Star Wars The Clone Wars. For generations, my ancestors fought proudly as warriors against the Jedi. Now, that woman tarnishes the very name Mandalorian. Pre Vizsla led the terrorist organization Death Watch and was about as tough as they come, crossing sabers with Ahsoka, Obi Wan Kenobi, and Maul. And only the strongest shall rule Mandalore. So be it. He also wielded the Darksaber, which of course made a return in The Mandalorian. Number 6. Tim Curry as Nigel Thornberry, The Wild Thornberries. 
Tim Curry has been known to play some wild roles, but Nigel Thornberry actually lives in the wild. I've lost the sight in my eye. Move your hand, Nigel. What a woman. Curry voiced the patriarch of the Thornberry clan, who travels the world with his family making wildlife documentaries. Despite the dangerous adventures his family would embark on, Nigel was always enthusiastic and did his best to keep his family together, even trying to entertain his bored eldest daughter, Debbie. And it appears they are building a fire under a porch in preparation for a communal meal. This is so uncool. Nigel was a true British gentleman, not just because of his posh accent, but also because of his true love of kippers. Only Curry could voice such an eccentric character. Well, Nigel is, um, <laughs> Nigel never really grew up. <laughs> right. Number five, John Ritter as Clifford, Clifford the Big Red Dog. Oh no, what's Emily Elizabeth going to say? I was trying to make less work for her, not more work. What am I going to do? Throughout his career, John Ritter appeared in over 100 films and TV series, but one of his roles was a bit furrier than the others. He voiced the lovable Clifford the Big Red Dog, the gigantic scarlet canine who's best friends with his owner, Emily Elizabeth. Ritter's upbeat voice fit Clifford's personality perfectly, especially when he got into trouble. Ghost? Yikes! It must be Whiffy! Run! Come on, Cleo! Let's get out of here! When Ritter passed away in 2003, no new episodes were made, and Clifford's really big movie served as the series' conclusion. Today, singer-songwriter Adam Sanders voices Clifford on the 2019 PBS reboot. Whoa! And you're really good at balancing those treats! Hmm. Wonder how high I can stack these things before they fall over. Let's find out! Number 4. Michael Sarah as Brother Bear, The Berenstain Bears before he became Mr. Manager on Arrested Development, Michael Sarah voiced Brother Bear on an animated series of the Berenstain Bears. Hut, hut! I got it! I got it! I. Oh, oh! Ah, crumb. Like their literary counterparts, the animated series follows a family of bears and their day to day lives in bear country. In each episode, the characters learn a lesson such as the importance of saying please and thank you. Uh oh. Gee, I guess we, I mean, I did forget. Thank you for the extra berries. Like Sarah, the series was known for being very sweet and very Canadian. Just be sure not to mix the series up with the Berenstein Bears, as they're known in a parallel universe. Everyone had so much fun flying Big Red, we all forgot about the contest. And you know what was just as much fun as flying Big Red? Making Big Red with you and Mama and Papa, all, all together. together. Number 3. Bruce Willis as Spike, Rugrats Go Wild In 2003, for the first and only time, 90s kids had a dream fulfilled. They finally heard Tommy Pickle's dog Spike talk. Spike was here! Uh, sorry, I know, where are my manners? I am Spike. Full name, Town Spike! Down! Get off that couch! To make this momentous occasion even better, Spike was voiced by action star Bruce Willis. In Rugrats Go Wild, the Rugrats meet the wild thornberries, and since Eliza Thornberry can talk to animals, she's able to understand what Spike is saying. Spike explains to Eliza that he's lost his babies, which she believes are puppies, and agrees to help him. We'll help you find them, and I won't tell anyone you lost them. Really? You really will help me find them? Thank you! That, that is so nice! <laughs> it's a bit jarring to hear Spike voiced by Willis, but since Spike behaves like a brooding action hero, Willis's voice works. And the best part of all, you get to hear Spike sing! Thank God she's in there singing with me, because I just sing like a dog. I don't really sing as much as I howl. <laughs> Number 2. Brian Cranston as Lieutenant James Jim Gordon, Batman Year One. Our vigilante, or Batman as the news shows are calling him, has committed 70 assaults in the past five weeks. Now, during this time, certain patterns have emerged. Winning consecutive Emmy Awards for his immortal role as Walter White, Brian Cranston was initially reluctant to lend his voice to an animated project. His misgivings about the cartoon medium were quickly quelled by the mature and morally labyrinthine script for Batman Year One. The adaptation of Frank Miller's comic book allowed a young Jim Gordon story to equally share the screen with Bruce Wayne's, and Cranston loved that. You must be wearing armor under that jacket. Something like that. 
You know, I'm practically blind without my glasses." He appreciated the portrayal of a man with a relatable sense of justice, but the fallibility to take corruptible missteps, and the compelling humanity of Cranston's performance highlights that understanding. Though the film's reviews were mixed overall, Cranston's contribution to the cast was seen by many as one of Year One's most inspiring attributes. It's a long, sordid story. The bullet points are police corruption, a cop who wanted to believe the system works, and one incredibly bad decision. Before we unveil our top pick, here are some honorable mentions. Scarlett Johansson as Princess Mindy, the SpongeBob SquarePants movie. Before she was Black Widow, she was the daughter of King Neptune. Mindy! I'm coming! Good luck, SpongeBob. Wait! How did you know my name? Oh, I'm gonna be Queen of the Sea one day. I've learned the names of all the sea creatures. Rowan Atkinson as Zazu, the Lion King. As Zazu, he could wait for Simba to be king. Well, I've never seen a king of beasts with quite so little hair. George Takei as Keo Heyerdahl, Hey Arnold. He didn't just trek through space, he was also the father of Helga's sidekick Phoebe. I'm certain I made contact. And I am certain you did not. Ah, uh, then I must be mistaken. I know full well how honest you are, little treasure. I do not doubt you for a moment. Jimmy Stewart as Wiley Burp. An American tale, Fievel Goes West. He helped Fievel realize that he was the hero the Wild West needed. But you, you pulled me out of a gutter, and for that I owe you some thanks. Just, just remember, Fievel, one man's sunset is another man's dawn. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Orson Welles as Unicron – The Transformers – The Movie The late, great Orson Welles, who directed Citizen Kane, surprised us all with his final role, voicing Unicron, the villain of The Transformers – The Movie. I have summoned you here for a purpose. Nobody summons Megatron. Then it pleases me to be the first. Unicron is the size of a massive planet that can eat other planets. He's definitely got a big appetite, and his hunger only increases after he makes a deal with Megatron to give him a bigger and better body as long as Megatron destroys the Autobot Matrix of Leadership. Your bargaining posture is highly dubious, but very well. I will provide you with a new body and new troops to command. It's not exactly clear if Wells even understood the role he was playing, as he told his biographer that, quote, I menace somebody called something or other. Even if Wells didn't understand the intricacies of the Transformers, he did seem to have fun voicing Unicron. The warrior and his armada. And this shall be your ship. No. Which of these actors surprised you the most? Let us know in the comments. Looks like we've got some more work to do. Did you enjoy this video? Check out these other clips from WatchMojo. And be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.